everybody, it's Eric with another home arcade cabinet review and look what I have here. I have Dragon's Lair, the overhaul edition from New Wave Toys. Uh, they sent me a copy of this to check out and review and uh, yeah, thank you to the folks at New Wave Toys. I wasn't going to say no to that. Uh, am I a shill now? Um, I'm not going to shill in this video because thankfully this is pretty badass, so I don't need to shill. Uh, I'm going to get it onto the table under some good lights and show you what's going on there. Now, I was going to put a link in the description below. I still might to the website, but it's currently sold out. So you might want to check in with New Wave Toys about, you know, how that's going to work. All right. I don't have any inside information on that, but let's check out this really cool cabinet. All right. We have everything on the table we're going to take a look at. We also got a one sixth scale die cast stool. So uh, let's take a look at that. There you go, Cinematronics Incorporated. We got some padding there. It's very solid, very sturdy. It's not adjustable at all. Um, but if you do want a stool next to your cabinet, there you go. All right, so with this unit, you get an alternate deck. It's like a sticker, uh, just a darker version of that one that you can put on. And you get alternate knobs here for different colors. You can switch that out. You get a USB cable for charging. So there you go. And it charges up no problem at all. Very nice. Uh, this goes in the unit and this just goes into your outlet. And we get a Daphne sticker. Not sure what I'm going to do with this, but I do love Daphne. Hmm. All right. Uh, Dragon's Lair, I love the instruction book because it is a throwback to the original. Uh, my friend had one and I saw the original instruction book and I do believe it looked a lot like this with the type font. So that is very cool. We get like a mini little replica of the laser disc that the original arcade unit would be playing off of. Now this one doesn't play off this, it's, it's all in there. Uh, but I'll show you where this goes when we take a look at the unit. But that that is really cool there. Uh, we get a like a promotional postcard that is like a movie poster. I just, again, I love this game because I love the artwork from Don Bluth Studios. Just uh, when I was a kid, yeah, that, that just did it for me. I thought it was so badass. And then you get four little quarters... There they are, and on one side you can see 25 cents, and on the other you got the R. All right, let's take a look at this box, Overhaul Edition. Looks, plays, controls, just like the original game. That's true, and it says it again right there. Supports spectator monitor, TV not included. They're going to come out with that extra monitor you can buy if you want uh, to replicate the arcade cabinets that did have that. Bonus replica laser disc player. I'll show you that in the back. The game does not run off a little mini laser disc. It's just for show. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the features. If you want to freeze that or just go to the website, I will have a link in the description below if I did not mention that already. And there's the accessories on this side. Yeah, we have a second scoreboard. Yep, it's going to be back there. Uh, the coin door. We have a coin door that will open. We'll take a look at that. HD TV connectivity. Yeah, that's how we charged it. And I believe this can go into a bigger monitor if you wish. All right, let's take a look at the cabinet with the lights on. Uh, you can put quarters down in here and perhaps get them out through the back because the coin door does open, but you can't actually put quarters in here. This will get you to the dip switches when you press that. And if you want to simulate putting quarters in, you just press this button. Let's take a look at the deck. I mean, the deck looks fantastic. Wow. That's really cool. Buttons feel nice. They're very like a, it's a firm press, but I like that. Same with the stick. It's very firm. Yeah, pretty cool. We got the screen. Now these are faux speakers. The real speakers are in the back, but the score screen, yeah, that works. And let's take a look at that marquee. Yeah, it looks really good. I like it. 
Uh, on the side, we have the Dragon's Lair. It's a sticker. But I don't have a problem with that. It looks really good. We got some serial number business up there. Here's our real speakers. I mean, you know, there's my thumb for size. And yeah, I mean, it's plenty loud. I will say that, you know, you can tell the sound's not coming out of the front while you're playing with it, but it doesn't bother me. There's your power button, your volume button. Uh, there's the USB that I charged the unit with, but you also get a USB 1, USB 2, and HDMI. On the bottom here is really, really cool. Uh, they simulate the laser disc itself. So you can pull this out, and I'll probably, let's see here. Oh, there you go. That's not that bad. And like, it comes with a replica. I mean, that's so cool of the laser disc player from back in the day. I mean, how wild is that? I mean, look at the detail in the back there. That is freaking cool. And then, yeah, I put the little laser disc in there. There it is. So just great attention to detail. I mean, the thing looks amazing. All right, the lights are off. I'm gonna hit the power button in the back and show you how it turns on. We can take a look at the intro and then powering off and then we'll get into the features, okay? So I'm hitting the power button on in the back and actually I think the scoreboard there, yeah, is the first thing. And then I think the coin door lights up and then we got the screen and the marquee. As it's going through, it's like cycling there. We'll just take a look at the marquee. It looks really good. It's going through its business. And the coin door is just, yeah, that looks legit. It looks really great. Let's see here. Now, my camera might not be doing it justice. In fact, I know it won't, but you'll get the idea. Dragon's Lair. A fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. If you control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has but I like the screen size. It's pretty cool. It's, it's just, I think it's perfectly scaled. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey and it looks really good. The awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the dragon's <laughs> Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Yeah, so there you go. And uh, well, let's see here. So when you hit this button, we might as well do this now. Uh, you get your settings. So you got your screen brightness. You got your game audio. You can go HDMI or Replicade. Uh, attract mode audio. I'm going to admit, I don't know what that is. Dirks per credit. I have unlimited because I suck. You guys all know that. You can go five or three or unlimited. Uh, marquee, you can turn the marquee on or off. So, okay. Uh, difficulty, easy. You know I like it <laughs> easy. <laughs> Hard. Medium. Now nah, we'll stick it with easy here. Joystick sound on. Yeah, sure. Screen blanking. I'm not exactly sure what that means. So we're going to leave that off. But there you go. Uh, then you want to hit that to go back. And then I'm going to hit this coin door here to put in uh, the credits. Yeah, one. Hit it again, two. And then you just hit your player one, right? And then you can go right to the game. Yeah, and it just, it just looks great. Uh, oh, let's see. I made it there. Oh, look. I got through the first level. Get, get out of here. Oh, look, I made it through two levels. I don't suck. Oh, I'm going to suck here, though. There you go. Let's do that. Game's being easy on me. But, yeah, it just looks great, I think. I forget which way. Oh, uh, no, there you go. But there it is. And to power down, you just hold it, and it goes powering off. So, just really cool, guys. Yeah, I'm impressed. All right, so that's it. The overhaul edition of Dragon's Lair from New Wave Toys. And uh, it's fantastic. I love it. It's outstanding. I mean, if you're a Dragon's Lair fan, you got to get this. You got to put this on a shelf or put it on your desk. I'm going to stick it right on my little desk here next to Tony. I mean, you could take this thing to work, hide it under your desk. And then when your boss isn't looking... You know, bring it on out <laughs> and play a little Dragon's Lair at the office. But yeah, this thing is fantastic. I highly recommend it. The pros, I mean, the pros are that it's like a perfectly, you know, 
miniature dragon's lair that you can play. The cons, the only con I can think of is that it's currently sold out. So I don't know what that means, but uh, if you've pre-ordered this, uh, good job, you're gonna love it. And uh, if you wanna pick it up secondhand, I think you probably should find it. So, all right, everybody. Well, thank you, New Wave Toys, again. Uh, this week, we're going to review, uh, what, we got Ant-Man movie, and we got Picard Season 3. Oh, I'm so looking forward to that. Everybody, have a great day, a great week. I will see you soon, and as always, I will see you on the news.